problem of this class is find the pedal equation of the parabola this is y square this is equal to 4a into x plus a with respect to the vertex okay and here the parabola looks like this is x axis and this is y axis y axis and x axis obviously the vertex of the parabola is minus a comma 0 this is the vertex and the parabola is looks like this okay this is the parabola y square equal to 4a into x plus a the latest red term is 4 here the vertex vertex a dash this is minus a 0 now here we take a look first the method of finding the pedal equation from Cartesian equation. The highlight is in step 1 we have to find the equation of tangent at any point x1, y1. Step 2 find the distance p from the origin. Here it is not origin from the vertex. Okay, it is mentioned here this is vertex to the tangent and in step 3 we have to find the value of r square this is this is r square r square means x1 square plus y1 square but this is not from the origin not this is from the vertex here and eliminating r sorry eliminating x1 and y1 from the relation p and r we get the parallel equation okay now let any point any point let this is this point is p p x1 y1 on the parabola so we get the first relation as y1 square this is equal to 4a into x1 plus a this is relation number one and we draw a tangent we draw a tangent at p okay and then the distance of this point from the vertex this is r square r square so we get r square this is equal to x1 minus sorry plus a whole square plus y1 minus 0 whole square because this is minus a comma 0 so r square this is equal to x1 plus a whole square plus y1 square this is relation number 2 and this relation becomes this way because here it is origin and here the point of reference is vertex ok now we have to find out the equation of tangent to find out the equation of tangent we must have to differentiate this relation so we get 2y dy dx this is equal to 4ax so dy dx this is equal to 4ax by 2y sorry this is not 4ax this is 4a so this is and get 2a by y and derivative at the point p that is x1 y1 is given by 2a by y1 okay now equation of tangent is y minus y1 this is equal to 2a by y1 into x minus x1 x minus x1 and this relation gives this is y y1 plus sorry this is minus y1 square this is equal to 2a 2a into x minus x1 and this relation gives 2ax minus y1y this is equal to 2ax minus y1y this is equal to 2ax1 2ax1 plus sorry minus y1 square okay and what is y1 square y1 square means 4a into x1 plus a from relation number 1 so we get 2a x1 minus 4a into x1 plus a and this is 
given by this is given by minus 2a x1 minus 4 a square okay and getting the equation of tangent as 2a x1 minus y1 y plus 2a x1 plus 4 a square this is equal to 0 and this is the relation number 3. Now we have to find the value of p. What is p? p is the distance of the tangent that is the perpendicular distance of the tangent at p from the vertex and this is the perpendicular distance this is p. Okay. To find p we get from here this is p this is equal to this is equal to from this point minus a comma 0 so we get from here this is sorry this is not 2a x1 this is 2a x okay 2a x so we get 2a into minus a minus 0 because minus a comma 0 plus 2a x1 plus 4 a square by root under this is 2a whole square plus minus of y1 square okay and this is given by minus 2a square plus 2a x1 plus 4 a square by root under 4 a square plus y1 square and we put the value of y1 square from 1 this is 4a into x1 plus a okay now squaring both side we get e square into this is 8 a square plus 4 a x1 and this is given by 2 a square plus 2 a x1 whole square and we take common 2 a from this relation we get the relation 4 a square into a plus x1 whole square and cancel out 4 a square from both side we get p square into 2 plus sorry uh, not cancel out 4 a square we have to cancel out 4 a from both side and this is 2 a plus x1 this is given by the right side is given by a into a plus x1 whole square okay and this relation gives a x1 square plus plus 2 a square because from here 2 a we get and another a here and from the left side we get minus p square into x1 okay we write first x1 square then we write x1 and then we write the another term another term is this is a square into a this is a cube and this is minus 2 a p square this is equal to g and we name this relation is the relation number 4 this is relation number 4 now from relation number 2 we get we put here y1 square this is equal to 4a into x1 plus a and getting the relation as 4a into x1 plus a this is y1 square plus x1 plus a whole square this is equal to r square okay so we also write this relation like this we write first x1 square then x1 and then another term and we get the relation as x1 square plus this is 2a plus 4a this is 6a 2a from here and from here is 4a this is 6a x1 plus and this is a square and this is 4a square so we get 5 square minus r square this is equal to 0 and this is relation number 5. Now by cross multiplication of 4 and 5 
we get dilation as x1 square by this is x1 by this is 1 by what is x1 square by x1 square by this into this so 2 square minus p square into 5 square minus r square minus 6a into a q minus 2a p square okay this is x1 square by and x1 by this is outside so this relation gives a q minus 2a p square minus a into 5 a square minus r square and 1 by this is equal to 6 a square minus 1 into 2 a square minus p square this relation gives by cross multiplication okay now from the first fraction and last fraction we get the value of x1 square and from second fraction and third fraction we get the value of x1 okay and the value of x1 square value of x1 square this is given by 2 a square minus p square into 5 a square minus r square minus 6 a into a q minus 2 a p square by this is 6 a square minus this is given by 4 a square by calculating this is plus p square this is the value of x1 square and the value of x1 is given by a q minus 2 a p square minus 5 a q minus a r square by this is also 4 a square plus p square okay now this is x1 square and this is x1 so we square this term and equate with this term and getting the pedal equation of the term now by calculating from this two term we eliminate x1 and getting the pedal equation of the given car that is of the parabola with respect to the vertex is given by p square plus 4 square into this okay we write this result by calculating directly to reduce the length of the field okay and this is the solution of the problem this is the lengthy problem but this is very very important problem of pedal equation okay thank you thank you for watching